The Robert Wood Show is on the air with special guests, Bill's running back, Jonathan Williams, and from 97 Rock, Rich the Bull Gensler. From 97 Rock, the Bills are moving forward after a loss in Florida and getting ready to take on Tom Brady and the New England Patriots, plus an injury update. We'll break it all down. I'm Sarah O'Brien from 1033 The Edge. Let's connect with your comments and questions in the digital zone on the football fans' favorite show. The Robert Wood Show on WBBZ TV is presented by Gelber and O'Connell, your car accident and injury law firm. Mighty Taco, do the cue. Mighty Taco's new quesadilla styled burritos. And DeGraff Hospital, because we see people, not just patients. And now, from the WBBZ TV studio from 97 Rock, here's co host Dave Jixter. Welcome to the Robert Wood Show. Robert could not be here tonight. Filling in for Robert is Jonathan Williams, number 31, running back of the Buffalo Bills. I also want to welcome my good friend, Rich the Bull Gensler from the 97 Rock Morning Bull Radio Show. So welcome and thanks for watching. Uh, Jonathan, we'll start with you. A uh, tough loss yesterday, yeah, snapped a, a four game win streak. Uh, how's the demeanor of the football team right now? Uh, you know, resilient. You know, that's the best way I can describe this football team. Um, you know, coach, the coaches didn't really want to, uh, you know, build too much on this you know we wanted to watch the film and get it out the way uh, we have a really good opponent coming up this week so uh you know our, our process is really to clear our minds through you know the, the day after the loss and, and move on so uh, i'm definitely excited to see what this team is going to do next week uh rich disappointing loss for for everybody uh dolphins had like the second worst run defense in the league and the bills had problems pounding the ball down the throats well i, I would love to see if this guy in the game yesterday <laughs> and i'm sure you were jones in to get out there yes, sir. Uh, but obviously, you know, with the injury issues to Shady, not being able to play a complete game, and Gillis Lee not really getting enough touches, in my opinion. He had five carries the whole game, including that big 20-yard run. Uh, for me, I, I kind of hope that Anthony Lynn and the coaching staff would have stuck more to the run game, especially with an 11-point lead in the second half, and they didn't. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why that was. Uh, you'd have to ask them that question, but uh, they certainly had their issues up front. I think that was a surprise to a lot of people, especially knowing what the Dolphin uh, defense in terms of the run game came in ranked 31st in the league coming into that game so a struggle up front in terms of push a struggle in terms of pass protect Tyrod was running all over the field all game long was sacked was hurried was pressured uh, just a tough game all the way around for the Bills offense Jonathan it seems like Tyrod was a little flustered in the fourth quarter too was it because he wasn't having time to throw the ball in uh, the Miami defense front four in his face basically the entire game uh, you know, a lot of different things go into it. Um, you know, execution, as a, as a player, you definitely want to always point, at the, point the figure at yourself. You know, um, there's a, a lot of things that we could have done as a football team, uh, not in, including the coaches. I feel like the coaches always give us the best chance, you know, uh, on the field. But um, as a player, you definitely have to, you know, point the finger at yourself and, and see what you're doing wrong out there on the football field. So uh, I think this week of practice, we'll go out there and, and work hard, uh, you know, throughout the whole week and, and clear up some of those things that, you know, we didn't do so well this past week. I was going to ask you, Jonathan, uh, you know, there were times in the game where it seemed tempo was not what it had been the past couple of games. A little bit slower getting to the snap and getting the ball snapped. Um, was that, and because of the new configuration of the stadium, did anybody say that if the stadium, because of the new figuration, it was your first time there. Yeah. But for the guys, the Bills that had played there in the past, did they say that had anything to do with it in terms of noise, being able to get the calls in to tie rod via the headset and the helmet? Was that anything to do with in terms of the tempo and why it seemed a little bit slowed? Uh, no, I don't think I don't think so. I know throughout the week we practice, you know, different with situations. Some noise. Yeah, practice with noise and practice going silent count because the, we anticipate the noise. So uh, throughout the week we definitely plan for those different things. So. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what it was, but I don't think that was just because of the preparation that we've had throughout the week. Jonathan, do you have the latest injury update on Aaron Williams? Uh, I do not, actually. I know that um, he went to the hospital. I saw him on the plane. He definitely traveled back with us. Uh, he looked to be fine to me. I'm not a, a doctor right. at all, but uh, he looked to be fine to me. So uh, we'll see, you know, what, what happens. Did you see the hit? From Landry? Uh, I saw it on replay. I didn't see the see it live just because of uh, I was watching the ball. I didn't I didn't see the block, but uh, I saw it on replay and it, it looked pretty bad. Yeah, your your thoughts on that hit? Uh, 
I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure it'll be getting fine. I know it was a flag, so, uh, you know, those are, you know, it's a football game. You know, those are kind of, you know, what happens whenever you sign up for football, but um, it's definitely not a, a legal play. You know, like I said, a flag was thrown, and uh, he'll probably be getting a fine. Rich to Bill Gensler, yeah, it's like, it, I don't think there's any place in the current NFL for hits like that at all. Well, and they're trying to do something about it with the suspensions and the fines and all of that. And listen, you know, if that hit was eight inches lower, no one's talking about it. They say, wow, what a hit. He's, I mean, he locked down on him, bullseye right into his chest. Instead, it was too high. And because it was too high, that's what we're talking about. And that made it a flaggable hit and ultimately what's probably going to be a finable hit in the end. Jonathan, what do you think happened to the Bills' defense yesterday? Did they get tired or were they just outcoached? Uh, Miami had 256 yards on the ground. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I actually played with Jed John. We're from the same area, uh, from the same Dallas area, so uh, he's a good back. But like I said, you always have to point the, point the finger at the players as a player. You know, um, there's always things that, you know, on the field, you know, the coaches aren't the ones, you know, out there on the field making tackles or anything like that. So um, personally, I feel like the coaches put us in the best position each week, week in and week out to make plays. Um, and I think it's our job to go out there on the football field and make the plays. What did the coaching staff say to you guys after the game? Uh, you know, they, they put it on themselves. You know, uh, they're a, a coaching staff that likes to take responsibility, so they put it on themselves. Um, as a whole group, you know, we didn't, we didn't go out there and perform the way we wanted to. Um, so that's why we put it to rest today. You know, we watched the film and went in there, and, 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 and we didn't want to dwell any more time on, on that type of game, and uh, we're excited for this coming up week facing the Patriots. How would you critique uh, Tyrod Taylor as a quarterback? I know a lot of people are saying that, you know, uh, he's, he's doing the job, but he could be better and could throw the ball downfield more. Uh, you know, I, I get to see him week in and week out. You know, I get to see how early he comes in in the mornings, or how late he leaves at night. So um, it's hard for me to critique a guy that, you know, he's the leader of our football team. He's somebody that's the first one in the building, like I said, and the last one out. So uh, week in and week out, I have the, the utmost confidence in his ability out there on the football field just because I see the way that he prepares throughout the week. Rich, your thoughts on Tyrod Taylor's play this year? I think Tyrod is doing what he, what he can with what he's got. Let's be honest. You, you can throw in the, the elite quarterbacks in the league, and based on what Tyrod has had to work with, the in and out of the lineup, I mean, no Sammy, obviously the host of the show, not available uh, this past week. And you go down the list, Salas has been out. Marquise goes out late in the game uh, yesterday. Uh, it, it's tough. I mean, he has tight ends to work with, and then he's got guys that are – five, six, seven on the depth chart, guys that are just coming off the practice squad that haven't been getting those first team reps. And reps are so important, right, Jonathan, in yeah, terms of definitely. getting this uh, a commonality between thrower and, and receiver. Exactly. Exactly. I definitely agree. Next, we're going to take a trip to the social media zone with Sarah O'Brien. She's going to answer your questions on social media. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Robert Woods Show. I'm Dave Jixter from 97 Rock. Robert, a little bit under the weather. So we have Jonathan Williams, running back for the Buffalo Bills, and my pal Rich the Bull Gensler from the 97 Rock Morning Bull Radio Show. How excited are you and your teammates to face Tom Brady and the New England Patriots this Sunday at the stadium? Uh, we're excited. You know, it's a divisional game, a home game, where we get to be in front of our crowd, our fans. So um, we're definitely excited. All right, we're going to take a trip to the Digital Zone with Sarah O'Brien from our sister station, 103.3 The Edge. It is presented by the Graff Memorial Hospital, where we see people, not just patients. Sarah O'Brien, take it away. Thanks so much, Dave. Make sure you're following along with us on all our social media outlets. You can find us on our Twitter, at WBBZ, and at Robert Woods Show. You can also find us on Facebook at WBBZ TV. Make sure you're getting in all your questions there so we can answer them live every Monday on the Robert Woods Show. The first question I have for you is coming from Twitter, from Andrew. He wants to know what's your favorite thing about this year's team? Uh, favorite thing about this year's team. Four uh, game win streak has to be <laughs> Definitely. I would definitely say the four game win streak. Uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, uh, that's a, definitely a, a great thing to be uh, on that four game winning streak. You know, you see the work that we put in week in and week out. Um, and it, it, it's exciting to see the, the work pay off. So uh, definitely that four game win streak. Bull, you're, you're a fan too. You're not just an analyst. You're a fan. What's your favorite thing about the Buffalo Bills this year? A uh, guy that's in his room, uh, I'm assuming. Uh, a mentor of yours is Shady McCoy. Oh, yeah. I mean, Shady yeah. McCoy is back to Pro Bowl level. He's back to being, you know, a top two pick in fantasy next year if he continues the road he's on. I mean, he's been absolutely electric. So for me, I think he's been a huge key. And, and 
Lorenzo Alexander has been outrageous. Yeah. 33 yeah. years old. Nothing was ever expected of this guy outside of being a Pro Bowl special team guy that he had been with Washington to come in. Another sack what he's yesterday. done in terms of Jeez. pressures and sacks is remarkable. So for me, okay, I have two. I was supposed to have one. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I got another question for you from Twitter. This one comes from Andre. Jonathan, you want to know since it's your rookie year, have you learned anything important from Shady, Reggie, or any other running backs? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, it would be crazy of me not to pick those type of guys' brands. Like you said, Shady's back to the Shady that we all knew that he would be, um, that he was before. So um, definitely been picking their brands. And uh, some of the most important things are just work habits. You know, um, Shady's a real hard worker. Um, he's always in the building, always getting treatment on his body. He's trying to stay fresh and stay healthy just so um, he can take that workload, you know, throughout the season. So um, just preparation, um, knowing that the defense and being able to, um, you know, read the defense as far as blitzes coming and, and pass protection and different things like that. You know, I've just been able to pick their brains just because they've been so dominant in the NFL. So it's definitely going to help me in my career. You're new in the NFL. Do you get nervous, controlled nervousness before a game? I mean, uh, it's going to be a little nerve wracking. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You always, you know, you have your nerves going a little bit just before the game, just because of the anticipation, the love that you have for the game. But um, it wears off, you know, as the game goes. I get nervous before a game. I don't even play. <laughs> The next question I have for you, Jonathan, is coming from our Facebook. It's from Barb. She wants to know if you can hear and feel the energy on away games with the Buffalo fans in the stands. Oh, definitely. You know, they, the Buffalo fans are great fans. You know, um, uh, Chris Gregg was, is actually one of my former teammates, and he's been here for a while. And um, as soon as I got drafted, he called me and said, man, you're going to love the fans. You know, they're, they're loud. They're crazy. Um, my first game was, uh, thankfully, in the preseason was a home game, so I, you know I got to feel the energy. But um, you definitely can still hear them and, and feel them at the away games as well. So uh, I think they travel well. A lot of fans yesterday in Miami. Yeah, yeah, definitely the, the divisional game. So uh, you definitely heard the, the loud cheers and you, you saw some blue in the, in the stands as well. So uh, I love the way that our fans travel. I was checking out uh, Rex Ryan's post-game interview at BuffaloBills.com. His opening statement I thought was really telling. He's saying that you guys got outplayed, outcoached, and out everything id was his word. Do you agree with him on that? Uh, yeah, definitely I agree with him. Um, that's not a, a performance that we want to put on again. Um, that's something that, like I said, we want to we want to watch the film and get it out um, and, and start over fresh. Um, you know, they were more physical than us, uh, played better than us, but. Uh, you know, we'll see those guys again down the road, and we can't let that one game make, uh, make us lose two games. The last question I have for you, Jonathan, is coming from a couple articles that I've seen talking about the Dolphins' defense. And a lot of people are crediting that with the win over us on Sunday. Do you agree it's the defense, or do you think that there are a lot of other aspects that contributed to their win over us? Uh, kind of like Rick said, you know, he said we're out coached, out played, out everything. So it's not one side of the ball. Um, it's not a, a player coach thing. It's, it's us as a group. You know, like I said, uh, we're a family. Um, so offense, defense, special teams, we all contributed to the loss, um, and we'll all take it. Thank you, Sarah O'Brien in the Digital Zone. We greatly appreciate it. And thanks to everybody who sent their comments on Twitter and Facebook. <laughs> the Digital Zone is brought to you by the Grant Memorial Hospital, where we see people, not just patients. We're going to send Jonathan Williams out to answer questions from a crowd here when we come back. Connect with Robert with the Mighty Q questions of the week. Mighty Taco's new quesadilla grill press style burritos are available now at Mighty Taco. Chicken, steak, or just say cheese. The Mighty Q is the perfect way to do the Q. And welcome back. It's time to connect with our guest star player, Jonathan Williams, running back in the Buffalo Bills. It is brought to you by Muddy Taco. Our first comment is from Kevin Page from Independent Health with an update on the Bills Wellness Challenge. Thanks for joining us, Keith. Uh, thank you, Dave. Uh, yes, so uh, exciting news. We've uh, reached the halfway point of this fall's Independent Health and Buffalo Bills Health and Wellness Challenge. And we've had more than uh, 15,000 Western Holy New Yorkers hell. sign up, including uh, about 2,500 new participants. Um, the Health and Wellness Challenge is really fun and easy. Uh, by completing uh, simple healthy activities, uh, participants uh, earn points and can, uh, uh, are eligible to win some great uh, uh, weekly uh, rewards and a VIP Buffalo Bills game day experience for the uh, December 18th game against Cleveland. And where would they go to do that? Uh, it's not too late to sign up. You go to uh, buffalobills.com forward slash the challenge. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. All right, Jonathan Williams is here, and you have a question for Jonathan Williams, young lady. What's your name? Linda Weaver. I'm from Cattaraugus, New York. 
Thanks Na for coming. It's nice to meet you, Jonathan. Nice to meet you as well. I know a lot of athletes have pregame rituals or superstitions or something that they do before a game. And I was wondering if you had anything like that and if there was anything that us fans can also take part in so we can beat those dang Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to help with the pregame ritual. That's adorable. Uh, not anything specific, but um, I definitely have to listen to my music. Uh, J. Cole is, is one of my favorite rappers, so listen to him. Um, definitely have to go out there and warm up. There is a certain, rit a certain ritual that I do out there on the football field, you know, to just loosen, loosen up before I get, get, yeah, before I get into the game. So um, definitely have to say my prayer to the Lord as well. So um, he, I feel like he protects me, you know, uh, while I'm out there on the football field to have good health. So um, those are the things I do before the game. Great question. Rich, do you have any pregame rituals? Rich the Bull Gensler? No, back to you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bunch too. What's your name? Gary. Hi, Gary. What's your question? My question, Jonathan, is if you weren't playing pro football, what would your career be? What would you be doing instead? Uh, probably, be holding it, probably holding this mic right here. Yeah. So, He's a, he was a communications major at Arkansas. There, there yeah. So uh, football and sports have always been a big part of my life. So um, even if I wasn't playing, I definitely still would want to be involved with it somehow. So I uh, was a communication major, and, and hopefully after my career is done, I'll still be you know, talking about sports. And you have a great oh. face for TV, unlike Bull and myself. So thank you for the question. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Thank right. Come on down here. What's your name? Hey, I'm Zach. And, uh, Zach. I was wondering, Jonathan, um, outside of football in Buffalo, what's your favorite thing about the city? Your first year here as a rookie, what's your favorite thing to do, favorite place to eat, something like that? Great question. Uh, it is a good question. Um, I haven't been able to go around a whole lot just because uh, since I've been here, it's been a, all football. Um, Y'all are known for the wings, so I, I definitely like the wings. <laughs> I, I definitely like the wings. Um, favorite place? I like I like 716 wings. I know I, I talked to some people and they're like, oh no, Dubs and Anchor Bar, but I like I like the wings from 716 person. It's a good answer because your boss kind of owns that. So, <laughs> kind of a little yeah, so, kind yeah. of sort of. So. Good answer. Good answer. What's your name? I'm Brian. I'm from East Bethany, New York. So it's Halloween, and about 10, 12 years ago, you were like a little kid because you're real young, right? Yeah. yeah. So I have a two-part <laughs> question: What's your favorite candy bar, and what was your favorite Halloween costume as a kid? Uh, okay, my favorite candy bar is Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats. I love them. Do you bite them all at once or do you break no, them No, I got to break them apart. Okay. Savor the flavor. Savor the flavor. All right. And uh, my favorite costume was Power Rangers. I, I used to love the Power Rangers. I'm a Power Ranger, I'm a Power Ranger guy. Special thanks to all our audience members for asking questions. We'll be right back. We're going to do the Hot Shot Challenge. We're going to buy Gilbert O'Connell next. The Hot Shot Football Challenge is brought to you by Gelber and O'Connell, your car accident and injury law firm. Call 633-5050. Welcome back. Jonathan Williams, running back for the Buffalo Bills, is here just in time for the Gelber and O'Connell Hot Shot Football Challenge, where one lucky teammate here is going to receive a $25 red card to Mighty Taco. So, Team Jonathan Williams, who's your teammate over there, sir? This is my man, Andrew. Hey, Andrew, where are you from? I'm from Lockport, New York. Hey, cool. You, you excited about this? Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, cool. Do you play sports? Yeah, I play soccer, but I don't play football. Okay, well, we're going to see if you can have an arm here. And then we got Team Bull from yeah. the 97 Rock Morning Bull Show. What's your teammate's name there? I got my man Ross right here. Hey, Ross, how are you, buddy? Good. Are you excited? Yep. All right, Ross, we're going to let you go first. So step right up to that line. Come on, buddy. We got the Tyrod oh, Taylor shirt on. Uh -oh. And he's got an arm, and that almost went in. All right, Bull, go right ahead. See if you can uh, pick up your team here a little bit. And in the hole. All right. Go right ahead there, young man. And that go in? I didn't see that. All right, Jonathan, step right up. We'll get the official score from Sarah O'Brien, the official scorekeeper. And a little low. There was power there. There was power. All right, go right ahead. Round number two. We are going to see who wins this game. We're going to come right back and find out how we're going to beat the Patriots next week with Jonathan Williams. We'll be right back. Dave Jigster's wardrobe is provided by my stylist at Macy's. Welcome back to the Robert Wood Show. Jonathan Williams of the Buffalo Bills, number 31, running back. And how's up? Uh, how is um, um, Robert Woods doing? Uh, he's doing good. You know, uh, you know, a medical team is working with him. Uh, he's out there running. So uh, I'm not sure, you know, his prognosis or how long he'll be out. But uh, to just a normal eye for me, you know, he looks good to me. So 
I'm sure we'll have them soon. Keys to beating the New England Patriots, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Uh, just just doing our, play, playing our game. You know, we have a great coaching staff. Uh, week in and week out, they put us in great positions to be successful. Um, so, you know, it's all faith in those guys, and we just have to go out there and play our game. You know, uh, we, we, we started a winning streak, and it is, feels nice to win. So uh, last week wasn't what we wanted, but we're, we're hoping to restart that winning streak again. Hopefully you'll start another winning streak. Sarah, who won the, the toss, the football toss? You got a good arm there, but <laughs> Team Bowl won. We got Ross as the winner. We'll see you next Monday <laughs> for the Halloween show, and hopefully we're talking about a Bills win. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Rich Stenzel.